to the Mrs. V Shift Stories. I wanted to do a little introduction. I know it's not Tuesday because the show is going to be on Tuesday night, but I wanted to say hello and welcome to you to the Langham, whereas we'll be doing a lot of our interviews either at someone's home or at the Langham, or we'll be pre-recording them. So uh, firstly, I just wanted to do my own shift story and share with you um, my advice and my seven questions and just so you know the whole story is really about discovering and uncovering what people are doing in the world that is amazing there are incredible people doing incredible things outside in the world and especially in the corporate space so next week our first uh, guest is David Cook who is going to be talking about his work he does. He's the CEO of Conica Minolta and he has an extraordinary story and so I'm very excited to have him on the show. So firstly let's start talking about my first question. My first question, my little boy, is your story. What's my story? My story is I'm a brand expert and I love empowering people to feel great about themselves, giving them confidence to see the best version of themselves. Uh, and that's really my story. I'm just here about making people have that, making people feel confident and understanding who they are and what their purpose is on this planet. And I think a lot of the time we get confused about what that is and we have this big pressure to find out, oh God, am I doing what I'm meant to be doing? And what I love is taking people through the process is everything is perfect and really honing into um, what they're doing is actually closer to what they think it is. So that's my story. And my best advice. So the best advice that I have is actually getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. I think that's the most important thing that uh, people spend a lot of time wanting to feel happy and to kind of get out of that space when in fact, if you just get used to the fact that life is uncomfortable, then you'll stop kind of running away from the feeling and I think that's a really important part and I love that advice that I got. Okay, so question three, what is spirituality? Now for me, spirituality is about really remembering that I'm a human being and I'm not something that needs to get or needs to um, kind of operate on a very unconscious level. And I think a lot of us, because of the pressures and what we have to do is, we do spend a lot of our time kind of just being on remote. And spirituality, my spiritual life, gives me that reconnection to who I am as a person and what I'm doing on this planet. Like, that's why I just love reconnecting through meditation or walking or whatever is really going to connect me to myself. So your spirituality is your internal self without the concepts around it. Without getting it a bit deep, but anyway, that is what spirituality is to me. Uh, tools for challenges. The best tool I have is about being present because when I'm present, uh, I actually calm down and I get out of that story in my head and I think a lot of the time we go into a place where we let what's happening and our concepts drive us and so getting present is always the number one go-to tool for me and then the next thing is being great grateful because what happens is we tend to when things aren't going our way which is often I know for me but it's it's like if it's not going our way, we tend to be in a blameful, we can be in a blameful mindset. So the first thing is then is to find a place of gratitude. Because when we go into gratitude, uh, we actually go into that place of love and appreciation and it's much more powerful. And number five is how do you find success? What are the tools for you that's actually steered you towards success and for me? Um, I think is knowing that there is no getting there, it's a journey and I know it sounds very cliche but it's a really great thing to remember and success, whenever I've wanted something or I've seen something that I think I'm meant to be doing is releasing my attachment towards it 
And that's when something amazing happens for me when I release the attachment um, is amazing. And number six is teach me something. Okay, so what can I teach you? I can teach you a great way to reconnect is to tap. Tap your chest and top of your head when you can access it. <laughs> You're not wearing a hat. And what is great is about tapping is it does reconnect you because often we're so much in here and we forget that our heart is absolutely the place where we find our wisdom, our truth and our balance. Biggest shift in my life. Uh, the biggest shift in my life, I think, for me was definitely becoming a mum. Um, I discovered that I I'm just so much more than I thought I was and so much confidence. And I remember thinking, God, if I can have, uh, give birth to a child, I can do, definitely direct a TV ad. <laughs> and I think that says it all for me is that, you know, being a mother just was the most biggest spiritual wake up and shift in my life and continues to be my teacher is uh, motherhood, the biggest shift. So yes. There are my seven questions and I really invite you to join me on Tuesday night with David Cook at 8 p.m. and find out his answers to his uh, the seven questions which are inc incredible, he's alive. I'm excited to share his story with you. And yeah, just uh, please like the page so you'll get notified. I'm going to be doing them every Tuesday night for the next season uh, until probably end of May. And um, I look forward to you joining me on that journey and welcome to the Mrs. V Shift Stories. Have an awesome day. See you then. <laughs>